In this video, we're going to be taking you through Point Lobos, answering the top 10 questions you need to know before making the hike. Get ready. First things first, where is Point Lobos? Well, it's about three miles away from Carmel by the Sea, located along Highway 1 in Central California. We heard about this place online, but being there in 3D gives this experience a totally different type of feeling. How much does it cost to get in? Parking inside costs $10, but if you're looking to save a couple bucks, you could park along Highway 1 and walk in for free. Though, to be honest, that is a bit of a walk and the donations do go to the park reserve. Visitors are welcome from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Do you need reservations for Point Lobos? This place does have a share of visitors and reservations are encouraged. However, when we went on a weekday, traffic was very light. Once there, how long is the hike? Well, let me first start by saying you have to do the hike here. Driving through Point Lobos is great, but not nearly enough to really experience this place. The reserve has a loop trail and it's about 6.7 miles that features beautiful wildflowers and is what we'd consider a fairly moderate trek. To the dog owners watching asking if you can bring Fido inside, unfortunately dogs are not allowed inside even if they are left in the car. The only exception are service animals. Can you bring your bike to Point Lobos? Also an interesting little fact. Biking, flying your drone, and skateboarding are all not allowed here according to the Point Lobos website. What about staying the night? Can you camp at Point Lobos? Point Lobos is a no campground area. Is the park open during COVID? It is open. But like all places, please remember to practice safety and social distancing. Once inside, are you allowed to swim? Well, this place isn't full of restrictions. You can actually kayak, snorkel, scuba dive, and go swimming. All are permitted, but a word of warning, you're going to want to come prepared. When we went, it was a bit cold and windy. And finally, would we recommend this place? The easy answer, yes. Bring lunch, your camera, and make a day out of it. There are plenty of spots to kick your feet back and take in nature. This place is 110% worth the visit. Well, that's it, guys. Let us know what you think, if you plan on visiting, or if you have visited and have any takeaways you want to share with us. We'd love to know. And remember, please like, share, subscribe, tell your mom and dad, and until next time, we'll see you on the trails. Which way, indeed, do we go left? Into the unknown or to the